Greetings, welcome to Mary's the New Evangelization.com. My name is Tom, and today we're going to talk about the group of uh, people who blocked the uh, March for Life, blocked the marchers, um, and they shouted that uh, forced pregnancy is enslavement to women. So they felt strong enough about their views and convictions that they literally blocked and got arrested. Okay, I mean, they're, they're, they were very serious about what they were doing. And their message was forced pregnancy is enslavement to women. Okay, so what they're saying is they need the abortion option in case they're being, you know, forced to uh, to carry a child so forced pregnancy okay forced forced pregnancy that's an interesting word okay now if you are kidnapped impregnated and told you have to carry this child for us because he's going to be uh, you know the next Albert Einstein or, or something you know like a surrogate if you're a surrogate against your will. In other words, people are forcing you to carry a child that you you have you had no part in conceiving or anything like that. It's totally against your will. Okay, that yes, I understand. Uh you're being forced you know, who knows what you know what I mean what their plans are. I don't know. Like if that's happening like, let me know about that, because I wasn't aware that uh, people were forcing girls to carry, uh, you know, their babies. I wasn't aware this was happening, okay? And I've been around, okay, I got I have five living children, okay? Now, um, look... Okay, listen, first of all, pregnancy, okay, why it might be hard, I mean, having a baby is not a, a bad thing, it's really not a bad thing, it's actually a good thing, I would trade everything that I own for my children, you know, there's no, you can't compare, you just can't compare, it's just, you know, nothing, nobody can do for you what your children can do for you, so, that that's number one children are a blessing yes they're messy they poop and they you know what I mean they need some help yes granted um, so but the, the, the rewards far outweigh the the uh, you know the work to get there now um, the other thing is uh, okay so so really, you're not making much sense. I'm just telling you that right now. You're not making much sense. I think what you're really trying to say is this. It's not fair that God made men so that they can have sex and just move, continue on with their life. But women, if they have sex, there's a chance they got nine months of, uh, you know, pregnancy. And... And that could be inconvenient, obviously, uh, if you're really busy doing, making money or something like that. All right. So I think that's your fundamental gripe is that men have it easy and women, you know, have to make all these uh, adjustments in their life. And, and so you're saying that's not fair. Okay. All right. If you want to deal with that, okay, that is not really about a baby or not, you know. The, the baby is not your issue, okay, because you were a baby one time too. Your, your issue is you don't like the difference between men and women. You think it's unfair. So you are <clears throat> doing what you can to even the score.
through contraception <coughs> or abortion. <coughs> um, <clears throat> you know, <coughs> it always happens. <coughs> now, the, the problem that you're going to face is this. God designed women differently than men. That was his plan, his idea. Now, why did he do it that way? You know, and if you're not going to blame God, you're going to blame, then you got to blame nature. Somebody did this, okay? Somebody, not yourself, because you don't like the plan, yet somebody made the plan up, and you don't have much of a choice. You got to go along with it. Or you got to stuff chemicals in your body, or you got to kill your your child. You know, not a very fair option there. I can tell you that right now. That is not equality at all. You know, you have the abortion. You got to deal with that. <laughs> you know, I don't envy you. So let's look at <clears throat> at the situation. The real, the heart of this matter. You are against who you are. You think it's unfair. You would rather be a man. Basically what you're saying, you'd rather be a man. And, and you are so intent on being like a man in that way. Have sex without responsibility. Um, <clears throat> then that you're willing to literally put chemicals in your body and and kill your own children to get to get that now I'm a man okay and it's not like that I mean men who have consciences you know they don't just put it all on the mother that's you know that's ridiculous you know you know and men are at different levels on that whole thing but <clears throat> the fathers I know are very happy and proud of their children and they were a help to their wives during their pregnancy. Maybe not as much as she wanted or something like that. But, yeah, his life was affected too. So, you know, this whole thing of, like, some somebody forcing you to carry a child. Like, that's ridiculous. Okay, seriously, that's ridiculous. Um, unless, like I said, you're just sleeping with people you don't even know or something like that. That's irresponsible. Okay? So... Anyway, the only thing I can say is this. It's this way for a reason, okay? So, like I said, if you want to blame God or if you want to blame Mother Nature, um, <clears throat> your choice. It's your choice who to blame, okay? All I'm saying is this, and we all know this. Not you, maybe, but many of us understand that this earthly life is testing ground it's redemption ground it's it's not like a la la land here where you can just call your own shots all right you're really not calling your own shots on this earth who in the world would call their shots who would, who in the world would want to have to literally like wipe yourself after you have a bowel movement like, who would want to do that? You know what I mean? Not me. I don't want to deal with that. Who wants to di deal with diarrhea? No. I don't like dealing with that stuff. But it happens, right? We didn't design ourselves. <laughs> Seriously, we did not design ourselves. So, you want to fight with the powers that be, go ahead. All I'm saying is... You know, don't fight the pro-lifers who are standing up for babies, okay? Like, we're doing the right thing because you have issues. It doesn't mean that the babies should not have a voice. They do have a voice. So the best way to deal with your issue, I'm telling you, is don't live for this life. Live for the next life. Put it down. Let it go. You know, it's not going to change. You're never going to change who you are as a woman. That's not going to change in this lifetime. It's not. So you got to deal with it. And there will always be people who are standing up for innocent unborn children. That's just 
It's just always going to be there. Jesus said, the, the poor you will have with you always. Okay, that's so here. We're, we're here. Okay. All right, I hope that helps. You know, I'm, the Blessed Mother helps me tremendously. Jesus Christ, obviously, you know, they're there to help and to heal and to give you strength, to, you know, to, to accept God's will. All right, God bless.